Hello everyone. Welcome back to Eve to Engines. This is episode seven. And today we are going to be making our first engine. So for this project, what you're going to need is a total of 18 iron. You'll need to keep one as raw iron. We need to turn it into a tank. And then you'll need another 17 pieces, which you're going to turn into steel. You need 17 steel ingots and one piece of iron for a tank. The first step is going to be to run the Newcomen hammer. So we'll get that loaded up. You need a full bucket of water and a full basket of charcoal. The first thing we're going to be making is some pistons and a small pulley and a large pulley. We're going to make one of these um, disconnected pulley drive mechanisms. That's what's going to be sort of the foundation of our engine. The other thing you're going to need is a vulcanized rubber belt. And you'll need to turn that into a timing belt. To do that, you just grab a knife, click once, and you've got your timing belt, which we'll be using for our pulley timing mechanism. Right, we're just going to jump right into it here. I'm going to try and do all the parts in two goes with the new common hammer. Um, I might get it all in one go. What we need is 10 uh, pistons and then one small pulley and one large pulley. So the pistons are just one hit on the hammer, small pulley is two, and then the large pulley is three. So let's fire this up. So that's five. Whoop. Couple misclicks. All right. So we get those six, seven pistons. We're going to need three more and a disconnected pulley drive mechanism or a couple of pulleys. Get a little bit more charcoal going here. And we'll load up our hammer again. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then plus these two for our pulley drive mechanism. So like this one first. There we go. That's all we need from this hammer. So the next thing we need to run is the roller. And we have to do it in that order because we need to bore both pipes and a couple of pistons. So always run your hammer and your roller first. And then you're going to be running your bore. And then the last thing we do is the lathe because we need pipes and cylinders. When we run our lathe. Probably should have made a little bit more charcoal. I 
ahead of time. But that is A-OK, -okay, because we can make it as we go. Fill up our roller here. And then move our charcoal into this furnace. So we'll need a place to put our um, rods once we roll them out. So I'm just going to make a little space here. And I want to make some charcoal. So let's light this up. All right. So for this, we're going to meet, need five rods, two of which, or three, we're going to turn into pipes, and then two are going to stay as rods, and we'll use those on the lathe. And we will need our wooden tongs for this. So let me grab those real quick. All right, it's like this, then this. <laughs> So just click the furnace, the roller, and then right click to stack up your steel rods. And those are our steel rods. Great. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is run this bore mechanism. As I said, we're going to need three pipes. So I'm going to load this up in a basket. And then we will also need two cylinders, so our crude cylinders. So we're going to take two of our pistons, put those in a basket as well. That's how we're going to make our cylinders. So there's that. Gotta load my charcoal. Alright, so five things on the bore, three rods to make pipes, two cylinders. And we do not need to heat these things to run the bore, so we're just going to. Um, light the bore without lighting the furnace and then i'll show you my favorite method um which is to take one of these use it on the bore and then right click on the basket to swap for the next thing so i'll show you how to do that so click on this click right click click right click easy peasy all right that is the bore mechanism all set so two of these we are going to be using or these two things we need to run the lathe for and this rod we're going to use on the lathe one time I don't need these yet. What I do need is another backpack. So it's handy to have lots of baskets and backpacks to do this just because it conserves a lot of space. So I think I will use my backpack that I normally wear as well here making a bit of a mess but that's all right I can clean up later I do need more charcoal though one more piece so let's get that going while I'm organizing okay. 
So here's this. So my lathe is here, I need to swap out this blade for my lathe head. Craving some cooked rabbit carrot pie, so let's have a bite of that. I know I got some more baskets somewhere, but I'm being lazy. All right, so one of these um, pipes we need to save out. We need that for the fuel tank system. This rod we're going to turn into a camshaft, and this rod we are going to turn into a crankshaft. Two pistons. We're going to use just one time on the lathe to make some uh, pistons. And then the other six, we're going to use two times on the lathe to make valves. These cylinder blanks, we only need to use once. And these pipes, we need to use once on the lathe to make fuel nozzles. So I'm going to light this up and I'm going to see if I can lathe all of this stuff in one go here. So just quickly right click. That needs to be a crankshaft. We have to do one of those rods twice. Once. Once. Twice. Twice. And then two times on the rest of them. Oh! We ended up with three of these precision pistons. It wasn't quite fast enough, which means we're going to have to run the lathe again. And while we're doing that, I will, or making some charcoal, waiting for that charcoal, I'm going to show you guys how to start putting this. Um, engine together. So we got to get our fire going again. I let that die. My bad. All right. So to put this engine together, the first thing you want is to take your steel cylinder and you'll grab one of the valves and throw it on there. And then you need another valve, throw that on there. Put this bucket away. And then the next step is to get a fuel nozzle and put it on this. So we've got a fuel nozzle body here, which we combine, combine with a valve to make our fuel injection nozzle. And that goes right on the diesel cylinder head. We take one of our precision pistons and we add it to that. And we've got our diesel piston head. But we need another one. This needs to be a valve. We don't have quite enough valves here. So let's grab our charcoal. Oop. Is there something in this basket? No. I right clicked on it to make sure there was nothing in there. We'll light this up. And let me show you how to make one more thing while we're here. So if you guys are craving wine, you are going to need copper wire to make a trellis. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. This is a thin steel rod. Um, you get this by taking a hot steel rod and using it on the roller again. And that's how you get this thin steel rod. And you can actually, with this thin steel rod, make a drill bit, which is the last piece of the new coming. So since I have to run the lathe again, I'm just going to make that. So we make our one valve. 
I'm going to make a drill bit. A little bonus for you guys. Alright. Don't have much time left, so let's finish putting this engine together. We'll need a valve. Put that on our precision cylinder. And I think our other valve is in here. Ding, ding, ding. Just like that. Here's our fuel nozzle body. And then we've got another valve in here. Fuel injection nozzle, diesel cylinder head. Now we've got our two diesel piston heads. You combine these together to make your piston block. And then you take your crankshaft and add to that. All right. So like I said at the beginning, we are going to need one of these disconnected pulley mechanisms. So to make that, I'll show you again. Um, we did show this in the Newcomen episode, but you put your large pulley, then your small pulley. And then the one difference is we have a timing belt instead of just a vulcanized rubber belt. And we just get this with the knife. And there we have it, our pulley timing mechanism. We're going to use the camshaft on there. We get our cam timing assembly. And then use this on the diesel crank assembly. We've got our diesel drive. So this thing is just about done. Remember I said we needed a tank? That is for the fuel system. You want to have a spare pipe for this as well. So that's why we made a third pipe in addition to the two for the fuel injection nozzles. Put that on there, add that, and we've got our very first diesel engine. All right, this thing is looking good and we are feeling good. Now, here in my town, I still have a Newcomen well. I still haven't finished this uh, off yet, so we don't need to use the engine for the well. And I also have not used up all of my iron mine. So we don't need it for the iron mine either. So I think what I will make for you guys in the very next episode is a truck. So I will be showing you guys how to build all the other parts for the truck other than the engine, uh, how to make paint, and going over um, probably how to make rubber one more time since you do need that for the truck. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. And we will be seeing you next time.